Kim from Buster Hill Farm here. Um, I wanted to just go over exactly how to put the halter on safely. Um, this is a halter. So the halter is used to tie the donkey up and when you're working on them. The harness is used when you're driving. So a lot of times people mix those two words up. So we have these special halters I get from Dale Hayworth at Half Ass Acres in Tennessee. She sells them. Um, I like them because they adjust under the chin and they have a, a buckle behind the donkey's ears. So it's uh, it fits them nicely. Where sometimes if you just go to Tractor Supply or order online a horse halter, it doesn't really fit them great. All right. I always approach from the left side. The key is I'm going to hold the buckle in my left hand and the end of the halter that goes behind her ears in my right hand. And then I am going to come around like this and the nose piece will be in the right position where the little nose tucks right in there and then I just buckle behind. Now I buckle it up tight enough so that there's not a lot of room for their hoof to get through if by some odd coincidence they um, scratched or something you don't want that to be too loose but you don't want it to be tight either I can fit about two fingers under their chin um, and in the front here if it's too confusing for you and it just sometimes there's a lot to manage you can take the lead rope off and then put the lead rope back on once you're done and you're always buckling the lead rope in the ring that's right underneath their chin what you don't want to do Scarlet here she's helping me out she's a great little helper but she'll probably be okay Coming at a donkey from the front, they can't really see that great and it might make them walk away. Of course, she's really very friendly so you can do that. But the right way to do it is this way because then if they try to walk away, it's very easy to control them because you actually have a hold of them and it's less threatening for them. So good luck with haltering. Thanks for watching.